to start, I'm going to use foam board from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut out four circles to make the burners for the stove top. I'm going to use a roll of tape to use as a stencil to cut out my circles. I'm going to cut out four circles, stacking two circles and gluing for each burner. If you're using foam board for your circles, I recommend using a utility knife or an X-Acto blade to cut out your circles. When making the circles for your burner, make sure your circles are a good size fit for the lid of your container. With all four circles cut out, you're going to take your tea light, center it, and then draw on the circle. You're going to do that to all four, four circles and then you're going to cut them all out. After your tea light circles are cut out, you're going to take two circles and glue them together. This part is optional. I'm going to use a foil tape and I'm going to cover my burners with them. Um, you can paint them or use an aluminum foil on them, whatever you have on hand. To add the tea light to the lid of your container, you're going to cut a circle small enough for the flame of the tea light to fit through. You don't want the hole too big. You want it to where the flame sits snug in the hole so it don't have to be taped from underneath. Figure out where you're going to lay your burners and if you're using knobs, how big are your knobs. Figure out um, where you are going to place everything um, so that you have enough space before you begin cutting. When cutting out the circle for your flame, start out with a small hole and keep fitting the flame, your tea light flame, to see if it fits um, and just keep cutting little by little until the circle is big enough for the flame to fit through. Once you get the right size of hole for your tea light flame, you can glue on the burners to the top of the lid. I'm going to use four regular size popsicle sticks for the tops of the burners. I'm going to cut four pieces off for each burner and then I'm going to paint them black and then glue them on top of the burner. If your burners are close to the edge of the lid, measure and make sure you have enough room for your popsicle sticks. While my popsicle sticks are drying, I'm going to move on to my knobs. I'm using two bottle cap tops for knobs and I'm going to use two dowels from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut two holes in the lid for the dowels just like I did for the tea lights. Once the holes for the dowels are cut out, I'm going to measure the dowel and see how long I need it.
I'm going to center the dowel on the inside of the bottle cap and then use a lot of hot glue to glue it on. While my knobs are drying, I'm going to glue on the popsicle sticks to the burners. When the glue has completely dried around the dowels, I'm going to stick the dowel through the holes. You won't need to glue on the bottle tops because the dowel will fit snug enough to not fall out of the hole. And this way, when you turn the bottle cap, it's turning the dowel and not the bottle cap. The dishware is also from Dollar Tree. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.